but bro. One person dies, okay, coincidence. Two people die, maybe there was a rock or mudslide or something. But three people accusing you all die? Is Kevin Spacey's last name actually Clinton? What's going on here? Welcome back to Andrew Says. My name is Kevin Spacey Clinton, host of the Clinton Spacey Suicide Primetime Comedy Hour. <laughs> Ari Bear dies at 47, marking third death, death this year of Kevin Spacey accusers. Now, this article I'm reading is from AOL. I chose AOL as a source because that's hilarious. I survived for years on AOL, maybe not years, maybe a year, on AOL dial-up free trial discs. How? Because at the end of the month, they would just give you a pop-up that says, please call or enter your credit card information to continue using AOL, and all you had to do was minimize their browser. They didn't think that people were aware that there were other browsers other than the AOL one, so it's hilarious. Three accusers, all dead this year, accusers of Kevin Spacey. Bro, come on now. Kevin Spacey's working with the deep state. He is aligned with the Clinton Constitution. Haters. <laughs> Last time I did an Alex Jones impression, I had a bunch of people be like, Oh my god, you made fun of Alex Jones. You must be new here. I, if I do an impression of someone, it's because I like them. Mike Tyson. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Alex Jones. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you missed the last three years when I was giving credit to InfoWars or talking about Alex Jones or even the videos that are still on my channel about them. Now, author Ari Bain has died, marking the third passing in 2019 of a person who was publicly accused actor Kevin Spacey of sexual misconduct or assault. His death comes two years after he spoke openly on a Norwegian radio station about an alleged encounter with Spacey that transpired when the actor hosted a Nobel Prize concert. I have a little Me Too story about Kevin Spacey, Bain said in 2017, becoming one of the 15 individuals. 15! People to come forward with disturbing claims about Spacey. Disturbing claims. We were having a nice chat where we spoke about theater and drama. And the little theater, The Wick, a theater in London. We had a good conversation sitting beside each other. After five minutes, he said, hey, let's go out and have a cigarette. Then he grabbed me under the table right in the balls. <laughs> Now, I don't know where you guys are from. Obviously, I'm up here in Greenland, Scandinavia, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the Faroe Islands. Look that one up. But if a guy grabs you in the balls, and you're not a fan of being grabbed in the balls by a guy, that's worth at least a headbutt. At least a headbutt. Maybe a flying knee if you have enough space and your timing is right. Hit him with a flying knee. So 15 allegations, but you know how it works in Hollywood. Come one, come all. That's I didn't. That's not even a joke. That's that's just how witty I am. I can't. I'm impressed by myself. But when accusers start dying, especially the day after your creepy video called "Kill Them with Kindness," things they start to get a little fishy, a little bit suspicious. Now the other two deaths were as follows: earlier this year, Spacey whistleblower Linda Culkin died at 59 after being struck by a car. I also believe I read. Don't quote me on this. That she was sending him death threats. So that might, might have allegedly expedited the process of her car accident. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I know nothing. Do not sue me. The other person, a person known only as John Doe, a massage therapist who accused Kevin Spacey of sexually assaulting him during a session in October 2016, has died according to a court filing. No further info was disclosed. The anonymous massage therapist filed a suit in 2018, alleging that Spacey had forced him to grab Spacey's genitals and tried to kiss him during a session in Malibu. Malibu. Spacey's attorneys filed a note attorneys filed a notice in federal court on Tuesday stating that the plaintiff's attorneys notified them on September 11th that their client had recently passed. Sounds a lot similar to the Johnny McBall grab story that we just heard from the other guy. But this is crazy. September 11th, Christmas, sounds like someone is up to no good. But of course, this is all allegations, you guys. No one is making definitive statements here. Uh, nothing we can prove. We wouldn't do that here on Andrew Says. But bro, one person dies, okay, coincidence. Two people die, maybe there was a rock or mudslide or something. But three people accusing you all die? Is Kevin Spacey's last name actually Clinton? What's going on here? Uh, I guess if you're Kevin Spacey or Hillary Clinton, people just start dying around you. It's no big deal. People 
uh, commit suicide, they get hit by cars, uh, their phones get hacked, they're left in the street. People just commit suicide all the time around you if your last name's Spacey or Clinton. It's just a phenomenon that seems to happen. Now, on another note, at least Michael Jackson... <laughs> you know what? Uh, I think we've gone long enough here. I'm not. I'm just going to end the video there. Uh, no Michael Jackson jokes. Definitely nothing about Macaulay Culkin or what's his name, Corey Feldman. The two Corys, were you guys a fan of that show? Thanks for watching, Andrew Says. Let me know what you think in the comments. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once.